What's your name? Come here. My name's Arin. Arin? Arin. Speak here. What's your name? My name is Arin. Ali? Anybody can hear him? My name is Arin. Nobody can hear you, man. This mic isn't working. Oh, you got the wrong mic. All right. My name is Arin. All right, good. What do you do? What do you study? Study for school. Study, mashallah. What do you know about Islam? Explain me something. Do you pray? Yes. What do you pray? Five times a day. Okay, how many surahs do you remember? Uh, I don't keep count. Okay, say some surah. Go ahead. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan irrajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Wa duha wa al-layli idha saja Ma wa ta'aka rabbuka wa ma yakala Wa al-akhiratu khairun laka min al-ula Wa sawfa ya'tika rabbuka fatarda Alam yajidika yatima fa'awa Wa wajadaka dhara fa'ada all right, you win. You get take some candy, whatever you like from here. Good, mashallah. Say subhanallah. Now explain me the meaning of that. Do you know the meaning of that? Do you know the meaning of that? You don't know? Exactly, that was my point. You know, uh, I saw a video on the TV, on a YouTube actually, probably everybody knows the YouTube, right? So uh, they were showing the video, one of the part, he was saying, Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, and uh, the whole comments was saying, SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. I was like, what? What's so SubhanAllah about that? It's nothing. He's a parrot. He probably be hearing the tilawa every morning. So he just memorized that. He's repeating. So this is a problem that we have in our kids today. They don't know what they're reciting. That's the main point. You know, when, when you recite the Quran, the Quran has to go here, not here. A child, you know how many children, like millions of children memorize the Quran. Everybody agree with that? Millions of people, right? Even the elders and the kids, all of the kids memorize Quran. Thousands, thousands. When I make a kid like, come here, tell me something. You recite something. He says, okay, tell me what is it. Say, I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? You have to know what is that. That's the first responsibility of a teacher to concentrate on this thing. Because our teachers, they just make the kids to memorize, just memorize, 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 memorize. What are you memorizing? You know, a lot of people, I say they're making a prayer. They're saying, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Maliki. What are you doing? You know, we are standing before Allah. We are standing before Allah. That, you know, when we say, like, Allah Akbar, that means we are surrendering. We are just like forgiving everything for the sake of Allah, and now we are standing right before Allah. That means we leave the whole world behind, and we are just like concentrating on our prayer, and we are standing before our Lord to make our prayer. And when I say, they're saying, Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Malik, Yawm, Din, Iyak, what is this? So that's like they just memorize, and they keep repeating in their mind. The prayer has to go here. You know, when we recite, it says in Surah Al-Fatiha, Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Oh my God, oh my Allah, I'm here to do prostration to you only. And you are the only one, source of helper, source of sustainer, and you are the one who's been sustaining me. And why do we have a problem? We have a problem of our Iman. Because we just memorize that. And that's the problem. If we have a knowledge, but if we do not utilize the knowledge in a particular way, or we don't have a taqwa, and we are not like operating the knowledge in the right way according to the Islam, that's useless. I read the book in a Sahih Bukhari, in the introduction, according to him on the Day of Judgment. It is just his opinion, it's not a fact. You say on the Day of Judgment, many people will come who have knowledge and everything, and Allah will have the right, throw, throw his knowledge away. 
I say you just have a knowledge, but you didn't use it. You don't know how to use it. You just memorized when you were a child. This is a problem we have. We just raised in our, in our parents, in our families. That's the way we were raised. We just memorize and we keep repeating, keep repeating. But that's the problem we have it here because we, we read the Quran here, but it doesn't go in our heart. If you go in our heart, then we will have a taqwa. 